Good day, YouTube. I hope everyone's feeling better than I am. I've been struggling in the past few days with RFI in my shack. How I found out was after I cut down or reposition, cut some of the wires off the 40 meter sky loop, I started hearing um, feedback, uh, RFI from my speakers, right? I got two speakers, powered speakers here. So I said, okay, yeah, uh, I'm gonna troubleshoot that. To reassure that I do have RFI, uh, I was talking to Manny, his call is K0MO, the voice of Port St. Lucie in Florida. He mentioned, hey Darren, you have RFI in your signal. And I said, oh really? Uh, I didn't know I had it on 40, but I knew I had it on 20 meters and the higher HF bands. So then I decided to put on my headphones I got these headphones that you can buy these on Amazon and it's right there. One audio. I put those headphones on. I didn't have the monitor on and as I was transmitting with power one kilowatt, I was hearing my HF audio sideband in my headphones. There is RF in a shack. What I'm going to do. If you've seen my previous video of me, uh, the HOA told me to move my antenna. I showed you the pictures of the back of my desk. There is a one-to-one -one current balance, and I'm gonna take that off and mount it uh, up on the roof uh, right behind the four-to-one balance. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to resolve this common mode, RFI coming back to my shack. So let's, choke it off at the feed point okay welcome to my roof my rooftop I see a problem already. This bolt right here is going to prevent me from uh, screwing it down tight. Okay, so that's the back end. You got that bracket right there. And looking underneath where the, the male to male adapter, when I screw that in, that bolt on the left side it's gonna prevent me from having a tight fit. All right, so I can take it off completely. So it's going to be held up by only one clamp. Okay, it's then tight. I got some zip ties I'm going to tie around probably come around here up against this this adapter tie it down and to keep it in place because right now it, it's it's teeter-tottering and it's held by that one bolt up here okay, here's a closer look at that bolt coming around the back side See what I'm talking about? Only this one uh, screw bolt, it's holding it in place because I had to take the other, the other one. And there is no room for it. See that black hole in the middle? There's no room for me to uh, put that in there. The sun has set it, or the sun has set. How do you say that? Past tense, set it. 
All right, guys, here we go. It's finished. We got the uh, four to one current ballon, all right, with the two male adapters connected to my current common mode choke, one to one current ballon. All right, so that's in. I'm gonna weatherproof that tomorrow um, when I have more daylight. I hope it doesn't rain. But here it is, the 40 meter sky loop. It is dark out here. I know you can't see it. That is a 14 gauge wire, by the way. We are back. Yeah, someone's tuning up here. I'm already tuned up here. I'm going to go ahead and transmit and add some power. And this is a November 4 Victor Foxtrot Romeo testing. N4 VFR. November 4 Victor Foxtrot Romeo testing. N4 VFR 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1. November 4, Victor Foxtrot Romeo, test complete. All right, guys. Well, the RFI is still present on my transmission. It's very strong. I still have to further troubleshoot what's the root cause of this issue. Well, at least I moved the common mode choke from behind the antenna tuner, right? I moved it to the, the feed point at the, the base of the antenna where it's supposed to go. And it's supposed to suppress some of this common mode current coming back down the coax into my shack. But however, it's, it's still present. I appreciate you guys watching. I'm tired. Stay tuned for future videos. I'm gonna still continue troubleshooting. And um, until next video, 73s and have a great day.